Welcome to the Illawarra League season launch. I'm joined by new Coromel captain coach Jimmy Green, mate, and uh, probably entering into the coaching caper. How's it been so far? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I've sort of had a few ideas of what to do, and I've sort of been executing them. And you know, until the season starts, I don't know if they're any good or not. But yeah, we're giving it a good crack. Mate, uh, very interesting, obviously, when you wanted to prepare for the season, you went right to the very top and obviously went up and had a bit of a pose session with the Cronulla Sharks. Mate, can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, mate, we got the phone call, I think it might have been Thursday night. I thought it was a bit of a G-up, to be honest. And I had to, I had to sort of make, you know, I was like, oh, geez, I'll, I'll, I'll phone back and just make sure this isn't... <laughs> and then we rallied enough boys together and we got a little bus up and um, a few beers on the way home as well, but it was a stinking hot day. I think it was up, you know, like late, uh, late, uh, late 30s, you know. Um, and mate, to be honest, it's one of the best things that we've done, you know, like the boys went from being sort of, I was sort of saying stuff and then when we finally got there, they sort of, even Paul Galen came over and had a bit of a chat with us, um, he said a few things and then the boys just reacted to it and we've been sort of stepping up ever since so it was honestly one of the best things for our team, as a team, so yeah. Building club mate, uh, how happy are we with the roster you've been able to put together? Really happy to be honest, yeah, we've um, managed to get a lot of blokes um, from out of town, like country boys that want to come up. There are a lot of young blokes that they're so, no, some of them are still eligible for 20s. Uh, maybe they want to make New South Wales Cup. They see us as a bit of a, you know, a, a step stepping stone to get there. Um, as you know, you've got your West, Dapto and Collies, probably pretty established players and clubs. Whereas we're sort of a whole new new club and, and you know we, we came last last year so um, it's their opportunity to sort of get in improve us and improve the, a chance for them to sort of go somewhere else. Mate haven't seen finals action for a little while is that obviously the goal this season? What was that sorry? Haven't seen finals action for a little while as a club uh, is that the goal this season? Mate, def definitely that's my goal and um, I'm, that's that's all I've got my eyes set on you know make them finals and I think we can probably we, I think we can do that with the team we've got um, and then I think if we get there, I think we can sort of cause a bit of havoc. Jimmy, thanks for joining us. Well, now I'm joined by former international and NRL Premiership winner and collegians coach Nathan Fee. Mate, obviously they've got you back for another year. Uh, made the finals last year with the Dogs. Uh, obviously want to build on that season coming into 2017. Definitely, mate. Um, yeah, third at the end of the, uh, end of the regular season. So we, you know, turned the corner a little bit and started to play some pretty good footy uh, throughout the back end of end of the year. I, I guess we probably just got hit with a few injuries at the wrong time. Um, but look, we're looking forward to the upcoming season. Obviously, uh, all the boys are chomping at the bit to get out there. Um, it's been a little bit of a frustrating off season. You know, everyone's in the same boat. Obviously, with all this rain, and you know, haven't haven't had much time on the on the footy field, but. Uh, you know, I know we'll be ready to go round, well, round two. We got the bye first week, so looking forward to it all. And you know, all the boys are obviously, you know, really, really keen at this stage of the season. Hopefully, we can, uh, you know, stay injury free. Mate, I know you wanted to add a bit of muscle up front, and I think you've done that. But obviously, some big inclusions in the halves are uh, Benny Jones, and obviously, uh, Premiership winning uh, five eight with Helensburg, Jared Boyle coming across. Yeah, we've got a few exciting uh, signings this year. Um, you know, Boyle, as you mentioned, he's been there and done it. Um, he's been in the system with the Dragons, and obviously the Illawarra Steelers or Cutters, whatever whatever you want to call them. But um, yeah, he'll, he'll be massive for us. Benny Jones obviously did his pec last year in our first trial, so just having him and his experience around the guys will you know definitely add to our team. Um, um, and you know, ben, big Benny Matthew up front, Matthew, Jamie, Jamie Matthews, young fella. So, um, mate, he's going all right. Yeah, look, I haven't seen a lot of him play, but the trial that um, uh, that he did play against Carmel in the knockout was 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 quite good. And um, from all reports, he went really well in the uh, the Illawarra rep game the other night. So, yeah, looking forward to those guys and how they inject themselves in, into our team. And you know, obviously in the leadership roles that we need them to play and lead those young fellas that we do have coming through the club at the moment. Mate, obviously for collegians every year, they aim to be there on the big day. I imagine that's no different in 2017. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, that's why we all play. We want to be there at the business end of the season. And, um, you know, the boys have trained really hard. Can't be, you know, I guess any happier than how they've uh, jumped at the task throughout the off-season. But, you know, there's a long way between now and then. And, you know, we just want to improve each week and, you know, get out there and play some footy. And, you know, fingers crossed we get a bit of luck with injury and, you know, we're there at the business end. Mate, obviously with those good halves you've got to, mate, that'll keep uh, Nathan Fiend's boots well and early on the mantelpiece. Yeah, they definitely uh, stayed in the cupboard. So, no, look, it, there was no no chance of me ever coming back. Um, I love the rumours that fly around at the start of the year, but this old body, mate, starting to get a little bit wide like yours, <laughs> bitchy, <laughs> eh? 
Mate, I'll ask you again on June 30. Fancy, thanks for joining us, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks for having me. Now I'm joined by the Rural Coach Jared Costello, mate. It's obviously the first year in the gig last year. They've got you back for a second year, mate. Uh, bit of a sucker for punishment, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, it was a, we copped a few bumps last year as a club, but um, yeah, we sort of knew that would have came sooner rather than later. We, we really invested in our younger guys, our local guys and local coaches like myself. So, um, yeah, we've got all those guys back uh, from last year, plus we've supplemented that with a few, a few new guys, so we're look, really looking forward to the season. Been a very long pre-season, been going since December, so hopefully we yeah, get on the field soon and get round one out of the road and get moving. Maybe service you mentioned, a bit of a tough start to last season, but a very, very good finish for you guys. You must be thrilled the way those young guys did come on last season. Yeah, we did, yeah. We, the la our last four rounds was really promising. Um, and I said, having all those guys back, they're, you know, they're a year older and they're a year stronger. Um, and, and they've played a year of first grade, so that's really important. So we're looking to, we're looking to build on that this year and, and, and you know, qualify for the semis. I guess that probably is the goal for rule of been regulars throughout their history in the finals for boys that the goal to get it back there. And I imagine you think you can with these young guys coming on another season? Yeah, certainly, yeah, certainly. That's our goal to make the semis. We've been very open about that as a club. We've set some goals and, and that's definitely one of them is to qualify for the semi-finals. Uh, while we said we've got some good young guys, we've got some really good experienced players at our club as well. So um, it's a good mix there, good blend of youth and, and some experience. So we can't wait, ready to go. Beautiful, thanks for joining us, Jacko. No worries. When you're ready. Joined now by Berkeley coach Aaron McDonald and as well the Berkeley back into the league for the second year. It was a, a tough first season in a lot of ways, but obviously some, some huge ground made in 2016. Yeah, I suppose uh, last year was always going to be a challenge to start coming back into the first trade in a very tough competition. But, um, you know, we, we had some good performances uh, and have built well over the off-season, so hoping for an improved performance this year. Yeah, did you look on the 2016 season? Obviously, uh, some people expect you to maybe even go winless, but did you exceed expectations? you go a little bit better than you thought you would? Uh, I think we exceeded other people's expectations, but didn't exceed our own. Um, you know, we uh, we started off the season well against Coromel and, um, and probably didn't do enough after that to um, to you know keep everyone happy in the club um, but certainly it was a good season but um but you know our, our standards are high and we expect more this year obviously mate you're a development coach of note are you happy with the way those guys did come along last season and have you added a few more pieces coming into this season yeah I think um, the players who I suppose bought in into what we're trying to do there um, developed and um, and those that didn't we've uh, we've let go and they've moved on uh, and yeah, I mean we've uh, we've recruited well, I think, for the for the new season, and um, we'll see in a few weeks' time. Obviously, mate, are you setting a higher bar in 2017? Finals a goal for the Eagles this year? Uh, definitely. I think everyone wants to play finals football. You know, um, you know, there's no point in playing footy and uh, and coming fifth, sixth, or seventh. So uh, yeah, we've set ourselves a, a target of making the top four and, uh, and hoping we can do that. Very much. So I look forward to seeing it. Thanks for joining us. Anytime. Love the work. Joined now by Dapto captain and the reigning former Greg Millerist Mick Murphy. And first question, mate, uh, how long did the party last after the grand final day last year? Uh, it wasn't too bad. A few of us finished up Tuesday Arbo, but uh, it wasn't as wild as uh, I expected anyway. It was all right. Yeah, it was a long time coming for Dapto. Obviously, the feeling must have been great within the club to take it back there. Uh, yeah, it was a good feeling in the club. Uh, both grades too, grand final day. So, uh, yeah, we had a pretty good party. Uh, we're over it now. We're all starting about this year, so... But obviously there were a few hangovers, but uh, have you done a lot of work to ensure there is no premiership hangover? Yeah, it's not something we've really talked about, but um, I think we're all experienced enough at that though now to know that last year means nothing and we've, uh, we've moved on. Mate, the roster fairly similar to what we've seen. Obviously it was one of the strongest on paper and on the paddock last year. Are you confident it'll be thereabouts again? Yeah, I think we'll be thereabouts. It's been a bit of a turnover, but um, a few boys back that uh, Dapto Juniors that went to America and played over there, they're back. Um, we lost a few, but I guess that always happens, and uh, yeah, we'll be all right again. Obviously, a big thing for Dapdo has been in recent years the mix of youth and experiences. Uh, do you think that's still the right balance there? Yeah, I think it is. Um, still a lot of Dapdo juniors that are coming through, even on the weekend when we play through all. A lot of blokes got their first taste of first grade from the juniors, so the club's in a good place at the moment, and um, I'm sure it'll continue. Mate, how's preparation been? Apparently, it's uh, been heavy on the gym and not so much on the paddock, given all the rain we've had. Yeah, mate, yeah. I, I don't think we're any different than any other club. Um, we're pretty lucky we've got a gym down there, that, uh, so we've been training together, but I think everyone's sick of the gym now and they want to get back on the field. Yeah, well, how much other boys chomp you at the bit? Obviously, you're going to be the hunted side this year. Are you prepared for that to be uh, teams to come and really bring their best to that showground throughout the year? Yeah, mate, I don't think it would be too much different to last year. I think uh, with the roster we had, I think we pretty much were the hunted side. Helensburg lost a bit over the off-season when they won the comp, and uh, yeah, I think we were pretty hunted last year. 
Good, mate. Thanks for joining us, Mick. No worries, mate. Well, now I'm joined by Helensburg skipper and one of the Illawarra League's best and most resilient warriors, Steve McCallum Tower. They've, uh, they've got you back for another season. How's it been? Yeah, mate. I um, thought about hanging up the boots last year, but um, yeah, I thought, you know, why not go around again and um, yeah, sort of been enjoying it. So, um, yeah. Mate, obviously some uh, some younger players coming through. Been a high turnover of players up at the Berg since uh, winning that 2015 Premiership. Uh, that sort of occurred again and some new faces this time. Yeah, mate, we have um, lost another big chunk of our grand final wing side from 2015, but, you know, there's always, where that happens, an opportunity for young guys to come through and uh, represent the club, and training's been really good, you know, the, the effort's really been there, so, um, yeah, we look forward to seeing how the new guys go. It's what the Berg's usually been built on, obviously, uh, with the, the limited funds compared to some other clubs, always been built on bringing the local guys through. Uh, do you feel that some guys ready to make their mark? Yeah, definitely, mate. That's all we can rely on. You know, we, we can't compete with the other clubs financially, so we just rely on, you know, guys being at the club that want to be there and really, uh, yeah, want to buy into our culture up there. And, um, yeah, there's certainly a few guys there that should be making a mark on the comp this year. Obviously, mate, too, benefiting from some finals action, you have to think that would give a lot of those guys some confidence having gone up there and uh, been in that finals footy last year. Yeah, mate, yeah. It was, um, it was good to make the finals, you know. Didn't look good at the start of last year when we lost our first four, but... Um, show good character to come back and um, and win that first semi and uh, you know we we bowed out against Dapto when we the comp so we're going to hide our heads high for our season last year. Obviously, mate, the wet weather's uh, plagued all clubs this season, but uh, Helensburg's still alive in the uh, the New South Wales Challenge Cup. That's obviously a big boost for the club to be getting that footy in the pre-season. Obviously, uh, a title to chase through mid-season. Yeah, definitely, mate. You know, we um, yeah we're very happy we were allowed to go in that competition after the Illawarra Challenge Cup was cancelled so yeah it's good to get the opportunity we had a game um, last Wednesday against Guildford and went out there it was pretty tough wet conditions and we had a tough win so we play again Wednesday night against one of the Newcastle sides so that'll be a good test for us but yeah it's good to be getting a bit of footy under our belt so sounds like a typical Tigers win tower thanks for joining us mate no worries mate Cheers. mate have you kept uh, the bulk of the roster together is it still the core guys are uh, going to be turning out again in 2017 uh, we actually lost Holdsworth oh, okay. pretty sure he pulled the pin, he's not playing anymore. So, uh, bulk of the roster is there. We actually brought back uh, Jason Green. Okay. He went away for a year, but he's back. Big front row, so he's gonna add to it as well. Yeah. Some ins and outs, mate. So obviously, a few teams are gonna be gunning for the Devils when they come to Parish Park, being a grand finalist, but I suppose that's nothing new uh, for the Red Devils, mate. Yeah, they've always been after us at home. It's a tough game whenever anyone comes down there, but looking forward to it. Obviously, mate, the pre-season's limited, mate, but you guys are alive in the New South Wales Challenge Cup. But obviously, as you said, getting into a long pre-season, you must be chomping at the bit to uh, to get some footy in the pre-season. I cannot wait to get on that field, eh? Like, it's, it's been a long, long pre-season. It's already April, but right? we've, we've been going since early December, so I need to get out there on the field. <laughs> mate, glad I'm not playing against West uh, this Wednesday, mate. Uh, Marty, thanks for joining us, mate. Right, mate, cheers.